Justin Presley here with our pet of the week for you to adopt. Good morning. Good morning. You've got a little kind of a chunky kitty. A little bit. There's <laughs> just more of her to love. Just a tiny bit more. I of like her that. To love. Very pretty. Talk yes. about our uh, pet today. This is Maggie. She. I think she is just beautiful. She's got this crazy awesome coat that's like white <laughs> and brown and gray and all kinds of colors and these absolutely stunning blue eyes. Oh my so, gosh! Look at her. She just gorgeous. Good yes. markings on her too. What is her? Mm -hmm. uh, what is her deal? What's her story? Well, she came in as a stray, but I mean, obviously, she's been taken care of. So yeah. unfortunately. Um, she waited out her stray weight period of five days and nobody ever came to claim her. She didn't have any microchip or tags when she came in, so we're kind of at a dead end. So, unfortunately, we can't get Maggie back to her owners, but we are trying to get her into a great new home, and she is pretty much the definition of a lap cat. Like, this cat has just been rolling around in my lap and purring up a storm <laughs> and just is not bothered by the studio whatsoever. <laughs> well, we like that. We like a lap cat. And uh, Maggie's uh, adoption fee? It is $48, and that includes the voucher for a veterinary exam, vaccinations, 30 days of pet health insurance and a microchip. And she is already spayed, so she's ready to go into your home. Ready to go. All right, now, uh, you say there was no microchip. What could her, her, or her former owners have done to make it easier to get her back? And maybe her owners are watching right now and saying, oh, we lost our cat, but what could they yes, have done? Yes, if Maggie's owners are watching, please come get Maggie. We would love to return her to you. Um, so uh, Maggie is decked out with quite a few tags here. Saturday is every day is tag day. Coming up this Saturday. Exactly. Right. So we wanted to take this opportunity to tell people, you know, just a reminder yep. of um, all the good tags you can have on their animals that will get them back to you as soon as possible. She's got, of course, her identification tag here, the first line of defense. If your pet gets lost, anybody can see that. Anybody can call that number, get them right back to you. Nice. She's also got her rabies tag and license with our animal law enforcement. Oh, yeah. They can return pets straight in the field. Once they check that license number, they never even have to come through the shelter. Then, of course, that last line of defense is the microchip, which Maggie will have before she goes to her new home. Okay, very cool. And HSPPR, March Madness, Final Four this weekend. You guys are still wrapping up your we big are. March Madness celebration, right? The donation drive. That's right. It's over on April 6th, so get your um, bowl in. You can donate $5, get a personalized basket bowl on the kennels of any of our homeless pets, and you'll be giving them um, a good, nourishing meal for the day. <laughs> we like that. It's just in time on our website coming up on TV there, March Madness Basket Bowl. Okay, thanks very much. Adopt Maggie. Thanks, Gretchen, for being here. Furball coming up at the end That's of right. this month. Month now. Very soon. We're in furball mode already. <laughs> All right, 826. You're a little furball there too, Maggie. Yeah, we'll get you it all happens. adopted. <laughs>